Welcome to XR Template Tutorials for the XR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. This is lesson number 8 and in this lesson we're going to be taking a look at a new feature, in this case the Smart Photo Grids. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to the top of your screen and click on the option that says Insert. And from there you're going to click on the option that says From Content Catalog. Once you do that, the online content catalog should appear. And from within there, you want to make sure you have the option selected that says all. And then click in the search box and type in the word photo grid. Then hit the enter key. And once you hit the enter key, all the photo grids will appear that are available in the online content catalog. In this case, we want to look for smart photo grids. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the first smart photo grid by clicking on the import key. And once that smart photo grid is imported into your workspace, let's go ahead and look at some of the different control handles for this smart photo grid. If you look at any of the middle control handles, you'll see that we have the option to move the photo with the tooltip that's given when we place our cursor over any of those control handles. So let's go ahead and move this coffee cup to the second row by left clicking on it and dragging downward. And you'll notice if we drag towards the middle, we get a rectangle that appears. So that is giving us an indicator of where this photo is going to appear. So if I release that, you'll now see that that coffee cup is in the middle on the second row. And you'll also notice that the photos on that row were adjusted so that everything will remain symmetrical within the rectangle of this smart photo grid. Okay? If we left click and drag this back up to the top in the middle, you'll now see that it readjusts the top part back to the normal size and everything looks symmetrical. Okay, so that is how you use the move control handle. Let's go ahead and look at the control handle in the upper right hand corner here for the first photo and you'll see that it gives us the option to control the border width. And If we left click and drag to the right, you'll see that the photos become closer together. If we drag to the left, you'll see that they're more spread out so you can adjust the border width with that control handle. Let's go ahead and take a look at the control handle to the far right for the photos that are on the right hand side and you'll see that we have the option to add photos so if I left click on that you'll see that we now have a new placeholder for an image on this particular row if we want to delete a photo from the row we just click on the bottom control handle and you'll see that it deletes that photo if I want to delete this photo if I left click on the control handle for deleting it you'll see that it deletes that photo and you'll notice all along that when we make adjustments the smart photo grid will change the size of photos depending on how many photos are on a given row. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the upper right hand corner of our photo grid and you'll see that we have a rotate handle and if we left click and drag that we can rotate the whole photo grid. And You'll notice that it also gives us the degree angle for how far our photo grid is rotated. Okay, let's go ahead and look at another control handle in the bottom right hand corner you'll see that we have the option to resize by left clicking and dragging inward or outward on the photo grid. So if we want it really small, we can drag it inward. If we want it really large, we drag outward. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom left hand corner of our photo grid. You'll see that we have the option to add or remove rows. And if I left click on that and drag upward, you'll see that it removes that particular row. If I left click and drag downward, you'll notice that it gives us blank photos. So when you drag upward, you're going to actually delete those photos. So if you drag downward again, it's not going to make those original photos appear. So be really careful with that. In this case, we could just hit Control Z to undo everything, and then it would give us back the original photos. So I hope that this video was helpful in giving you an understanding of how to use the Smart Photo Grid. And if it was, definitely embed, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future videos.